Welcome to Double Jump Gaming News' third episode of Doublecast. I'm your host, Cody Castona, and with me... Heath Eisen. Uh, Reed Eisen. Sabina Roslowski. You guys can't have... You got you can't have two names and introduce yourself twice and pretend you're the same guy. No, nope. I know it's like your twins. We got, we got different yeah. voices. It's like we got twins Apparently. on this show or something. Yeah, we probably shouldn't have done that in order. Probably should have skipped over. What are you talking about? Well, if it's both of us. Sounds like it's one. Not person. Frank Johnson. No, no, <laughs> no. There's five people in here. No, if you guys are uh, playing at home, there's four people in this one. Uh, we got some news. BlizzCon happened. I went there. It was sounded like fun. A lot of people, twenty five thousand people, sixty countries, all fifty states represented, nineteen languages. I think I got those numbers right. Must have been nineteen languages. Yeah, there were like a lot of people can speak English. Over the bathroom yeah, signs. <laughs> it's okay. Um, finding out that some Uber driver couldn't uh, navigate because she had some Japanese girls in her car that had no idea how to speak to her. Oh no. No, oh, uh, that was not my favorite part of the convention. Um, uh, probably the announcement of Sombra and actually getting into player. Um, definitely my new main. Oh, you got to play her? Oh, yeah. wow. I'm jealous. Tell her about her. What did you like about her? Uh, we got, uh, I mean, the team dynamic wasn't exactly on point because everyone, like Sombra Sombra. it was, I think it was three Sombras against four Z- Sombras and then <laughs> a Reinhardt and somebody playing Torbjorn or something. And mm. I don't. I don't know why you would l- wait in line for about an hour to play Sombra and then just play Torbjorn, but that's that's well, its own choice. Th- she's on the test servers now, so yeah, you can go out and do that instead of going to BlizzCon. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a different kind of character. She's more stealth based in a lot of ways because she's have her. She has her cloak that'll last for quite some time, give you uh, one of the fastest characters in the game, probably next to Tracer. How her long? Tele- her teleporter only, uh, sorry, her teleporter only lasts like 15 seconds though when you place yep. it down. Oh, how long's her invisibility? I want to say less than 10 seconds, but. You think it's 10 20? seconds? I don't Jesus. remember. No, not 20. No. Was it, it, it was less 20. than 20. 20. Less, was it 10? I or heard it was around 15. 15. That's what I was hearing, but that's crazy. It's 15 seconds for the, that's for crazy. the teleporter. From I can't remember what it was. She gets like the speed from like Soldier 76's like, sprint. Like, yeah, sprint. sprint. Like, yeah. She just gets that and that. Oh, and I'm like, okay. that's not And then so the okay. weirdest announcement when they were talking about her feet, like the things that she can do, is that she can see through walls. And it's like, you already listed oh. about five abilities already. Why did you add that one? That's her passive. It's like, I, yeah, uh, just a passive ability where it's like, okay, uh, if the enemy is less than 50% health, they can see, they, uh, Sombra can see you through a wall. Then what's the point of having, like, Widowmaker's yeah. alt? Like, her alt just becomes that know. much more useless compared to Hanzo's, like, arrow. Both of those, like, the arrow... <laughs> <laughs> it tilts me. Her He's alt, been complaining her alt about is this useless. It is completely play useless. He's just like, don't play Widow. Widow's ult is useless. I got, I got, you, like, you could use and Hanzo. And like, you could play Hanzo and use It's good for flankers. Eight. And I'm like, oh my no, god. It's, it's trash. Like, oh, she could have had a redeeming it's something. It's a shift. I think it's my favorite shift? part. Yeah, his shift. Oh, I didn't know that. I, I think my favorite Hanzo. part <laughs> about, uh, about Sombra is that his she's going to be able to, go ahead. He's gonna be able to counter uh, Bastion like easy mm-hmm. because she'll be able to get up behind him and then hack him, knock him out of uh, she turn can't, mode. She can't hack him out of his ult, though. Yeah. When he's tank, we will not stop his tank, though. Well, he, she, does it stop if she uses her ult, though? No. Really? Yeah, it mm-hmm. should, though. Mm-mm. She can... But she can stop a turret bastion, which is like our main concern. Yeah, she usually. brings bastion out of bastion so, out of turret mode. So happy! Oh, that's gonna be good for like, he's and from a little bit of a range worst. too. And mm-hmm. Was it Temple of Anubis where like they always have the people sitting up on the one um, one part with a ra- uh, bastion and a Reinhardt? Yeah, is that that map? Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. So and they have like a Mercy and a Torbjorn. That if they get Sombra in there. The only thing with Torbjorn yeah. though is that she needs to ult or she needs to hack the turret. Because if she hacks him, it will not affect the turret. Hmm. It'll just shut down what he can do. But, yeah. Hmm. It's going to be fun to see. Yeah. I mean, so happy. one of the strategies that I picked up on right away, and apparently the developers confirmed this is the good way to play her, is just to throw out a teleporter next to a hacked health pack, go run around for 15 seconds, and hopefully you can, you know, if you're about to die, you just pop your uh, teleporter, get that health pack, Repeat, what's, rinse and repeat. Just what's the recharge? Uh, pretty, 
short. It's like oh, that's so seconds. stupid. Yeah. So by the that time like you're 10. about to like go head out, you can throw another one nearby and just come back oh. later. You have to keep in mind though when you're using teleport that if you throw it when you press like teleport to it, that's where it'll take you if it's still in motion. Like I was watching Maddie play and she threw it over the pit on yeah. uh, Hanamura or not Hanamura, but that one uh, shrine. Mm-hmm. And when she went to teleport, she was in the midair because that's yep. where it was. And she yep. Wow. You can use that to <laughs> climb walls and everything, and it's just like, okay. Diva is getting a uh, a mobility boost. No. Oh my god! What? She is no. she I didn't hear that. She's shooting. Well, when it's like what twenty five. She's getting a twenty. I believe it's twenty or twenty five percent movement speed increase while she's auto attacking. Because you know how she good. Gets slow yeah. She's actually I know. super slow. Diva's, uh, she's the best. Diva has been getting ner- like nerfed ironically. Nerf this. Exactly. But uh, she, I, I think she's just been getting buffs, hasn't she? No. Her she, shield thing. Everyone else gets buffed but D.Va half the time, and they don't know how to buff D.Va. Dude, her shield, though, when they oh, introduced that, like, the, the like one-second right recharge, yeah. I thought yes, that was so OP that was when that first came out. I was like, that is stupid. But then you At least she can't see fine. through walls of, as a passive. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, so, yeah, people are pissed about this. I think maybe tweaking her so that if it's 75%, like less than 75% of your health has been taken away, then you can see the person through a wall. 50% yeah. happens too often. Yeah. Especially if you're a squishy. Yeah. Or Ooh. even 80% would be fair, but just like... Just for finishing them off. It, it, the idea is that if they're about to die, you can go in and kill, because she doesn't have that much, uh, like, damage. You could catch damage. a flanker, like, so easy. Be like, oh, you, yeah, you boom, can... hey, someone's coming around. Like, Reaper's coming around back. Yes. It's like, oh. So that's... But you wouldn't... The idea of that is you wouldn't be flanking if you have like, you know, twenty health left out of yeah. If you have low health, but so if 50? if you're at twenty health and you're about to try to flank, then reasonably they should be able to see you and stop you. Because why are you doing that? Mm-hmm. But I think fifty percent is just too common in this game to justify that. Like I mean, yeah. Roadhog can heal himself. The rest of them need to you know throw out a canister to heal or need to find a health pack or, you know, need to heal someone else while doing so. And it's kind of a little bit unfair that you can't just e- easily heal yourself. Um, otherwise, there's a new map that I kind of got to play, but my computer just, like, crashed in the middle of it. And it's been having VSOD problems. What's so. theme? I don't it's know Antarctica. <gasps> no. Oh, it's, it's like a base, goodness. though, Antarctica. What's that? It's I'm... like a base. Is it kind of yeah. like Volskaya or... So uh, I got it's, to it's... play a little bit and then it crashed. So oh, it's I'm kind of so like excited. it. Only... It was... Are there penguins? Are there ever any no. life animals oh. in Overwatch? It's only Omnix. Besides Omnix. Bastion's bird, you can get his Omnix. Oh, I would have been so excited about that. What's that would have been cool. Bird call for Bastion. We, I, I figured that out this weekend because we got the plushie. But from <gasps> it actually has a little like a uh, a Crossing. clothespin. Clo- Close oh. and you can actually clip it right onto your shoulder, oh, nice. onto your clothes. So <laughs> people had bastion birds all around the ca- the convention. It was just, it was awesome. But I mean, some people will hide this that they have it because they, you know, they're those closet bastion players. Did, that you, meet, did you meet any of the voice wanna... actors? Um, oh, I didn't. They had autograph booths that were just constantly there, where you get like six people mm-hmm. to sign a poster. So I got a Sombra poster and a WoW poster. Uh, for Legion, and then it was just uh, kind of here's some people that worked on the game, and they might say what they are, but there's like a million other people in line, so they don't have time to really talk. Um, there were there was one person that was the 3D modeler for the new Dalaran for yeah. WoW. That Ooh. she was like kind of excited that people are enjoying the new Dalaran update, and like you know she did all the she brought it. She was you know redoing every single model, or not every single model, but a majority of the models that you see that brings that uh, area back to life that everybody in WoW really loved when they were able to go through it the first time. Um, so yeah. she was excited, uh, but I, some of them, uh, some of the, act, either the, the employees or the actors that were there, because I didn't get to you know, specify everyone, um, some of them, you know, you'll get like some, uh, because I, you know, it's their, writing style i can't really tell which language it is but some of them are you know a, you know some asian language so it's like the blizzard's diversity is huge when it comes to what they huh. offer oh, yeah. um they there was like one story they explained where like the ceo of blizzard was in a chinese arcade or japanese arcade i think it was chinese arcade um and a person came up to him and showed him 
like at, almost at random a folder full of like artwork inspired by Blizzard. He is now one of the lead artists. Ten years later, out working on uh, Bl Blizzard as a lead artist, and that's it's just amazing. like okay, that's, that's some little kid, just awesome. or not a kid, but you know, a, maybe a teen or mm -hmm. something. So I look at my work; and it happens to have it on him at that time, or Dang. no, he was he gonna has be been there. Waiting for this moment, his yes. whole life, just carrying. He it just around changes his art style in multiple different games. He sees it's like, oh, that's the Blizzard guy. Let me throw him this one. <laughs> oh, look, I got the Nintendo guys right up next oh. to him. <laughs> No, um, he's, uh, I don't remember his name exact, but I, I remembered like some stories of that, that the developers were talking about. So their diversity is huge is what I'm trying to get at with that. So, um, Hearthstone got an update I don't know or is getting about an update it. card games. For... I don't know why they're doing another expansion. They're doing them too quickly. They're nowadays. doing a lot of expansions. I think it's too much. They, they are making it a lot more like pay to win, money. which is kind of yeah. really stupid, you know, for the fans, but from money aspect, people are going to keep there's playing. Still people enough... are going to keep buying the cards. Like, oh. Yeah, there's still enough uh, ways to get them for free, yeah. but I mean, you can, right. and you can theoretically just play enough to yeah. pay your way through yeah, the expansion for... through in-game yeah. money, but mm -hmm. I mean, I still dropped $20 for the newest one, but I haven't played since the first expansion. Um, so getting back into it feels a little bit weird. I did like the last expansion, though. It was really clever. It was really fun. Oh, I love Medivh. What I don't so like okay. is the cards from the first expansion no longer work. I don't and want to talk about it. Kel'Thuzad <laughs> and all that stuff is just oh, gone yeah. from standard, and it's just like mm -hmm. so... KT just kind of went out the door. Yeah. Made me sad. You can still use them sometimes in like uh like the tavern brawls, mm -hmm. but you know, that's just a weekly thing. But yeah. it it's still sad that you invest this money into it and you lose it. So but I'm pretty sure this has been discussed like a million times with Hearthstone, but oh, yeah. it's still sad. Um then they're trying to get people to play Heroes of the Storm a lot. Uh mm -hmm. they're getting <laughs> bring in two characters that the names escape me. For who? For Heroes of the Storm. The Overwatch from, characters? No. Are no, from World of Warcraft. Oh. Um, sure. I know one of them was the raid boss of the first, of like the, like, not the first expansion, but Vanilla WoW. And then the, uh, the king that dies in Legion for the Alliance. Oh, 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 no. That dude? Oh, I know this. Wait, the dude who's oh. on like all the cover art? Uh, no, no, not uh, him. Are you gonna check? I'm gonna check. Back check. Back check. Why is Darius? Cut this over? out. Oh, hello. Huh? Hello. No, I do think it's really entertaining though that they have Zarya and Tracer in Heroes of the Storm, mm -hmm. but like they're just busted. Like Tracer is ridiculously hard to play just because you still have the three dashes and everything. I mean, she's still hard to play in. Yeah. Overwatch. Nah, yeah. It's pretty easy to play. Unless you're, you're bad. I mean, you are bad, so maybe you're <laughs> not. Do you okay. Um, but no, I think it's really interesting and a nice way to try to save Heroes of the Storm by getting people to be like, hey, you want a Genji skin? You got to play our other game. I have <laughs> not <laughs> seen a single person with a Genji skin. Really? In, on PC, no. at least. And when I'm playing, for no, what? For what? For the uh, the new Genji skin. This is not released yet. For how, oh, yeah, no. it's not out yet. Okay, no. No. Okay, yeah. it was uh, Varian and Ragnaros. Um, <laughs> They're actually. I was gonna say Ragnaros jokingly, and I didn't yes. think they actually. No, he did takes. It. He'll take over the bases, whether or not oh the not bases, but the. Uh, I don't play, so uh, the towers or something. Yeah, they'll do the towers. What are they, they, whatever they call them in Hots. They're still towers. Are they towers? Okay, yeah, so it's it, he he'll go up to a tower, and his like special ability is he can take over them, regardless of if they are available or if they're, they've been destroyed mm -hmm. and he takes that spot and he's able to like throw things at the enemies and throw, you know, make uh, lava rain down. That's not lava, actually, but rain down, but that's a really good ability crazy. because yeah. in Heroes of the Storm, the towers are not as strong, like take for example, as in League. So like it's kind of, since Heroes of the Storm is like a baby MOBA, like for people who aren't really new to MOBAs. Wow. So actually, it's Waited, fun. Waited, just no, it's, triggered. It's, wow. It's, <laughs> You don't have to hit minions. You don't have to buy items. All you do is just kill things and do the objective. You're right. Really there's 
absolutely nothing but taking out the fat of it and just making it fun. That's 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 not a good MOBA. We should how, <laughs> how quick are the games? We should take out MOBA. just the boring how, stuff. How fast? Are Hearthstone's the games? terrible because it takes out the boring stuff of card games too. You're right. I really need to worry about when I play my cards versus when I draw. Oh yeah. How, how long is a standard game in Heroes? Heroes is probably like 20 uh, minutes. And how yeah, long is a league game? You're going anywhere from 20 to 45 minutes? That is It's, cra- mo- it's 40... usually 45 minutes. Let's no, be it's not. 45? I've, all the games I've played, You have 30, played a grand 45. total of how many games? Like seven. And Whoa, all of them lasted like that long. Seven games. And they all lasted that long. Oh my god. We don't... Oh not everyone god. has time to sit down for 45 minutes. So it's the guy who plays like like five games I have the hour. time. <laughs> I'm saying not everyone has the time. Oh. Yeah, then that's why you play different MOBAs. I don't that's play fun. MOBAs. Yeah. MOBAs are fun. I enjoy them. Maybe people play the MOBA because it's less time consuming and not because it's easier. No, it is actually. No, I'm being completely just honest here. If people play Heroes of the Storm, it's a really. I think she's a little biased since she has like 4,000 hours on League. Actually, I think it's up to 4,600, but thank you. I checked yesterday. Um, <laughs> but no, with Heroes of the Storm, it's really good for people who want to get into MOBAs, for people who want to understand it because it gives you the basic ideas. But it doesn't overcomplicate things. Dude, that skin looks so cool. It looks like Blood It's like, it's Shen. his best. I think that's probably, I don't no. know, Genji has cool skin. Genji Samurai. You know who needs a new skin? Winston. He has no new skins right. at all. Oh, yeah, but Winston's Safari a character. Daddy. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> Safari Daddy's the best skin, though. He has no, what's the other character? There's one other character that has no new skins. Harambe doesn't get a skin. May. Does. May. May doesn't have any skins since updates either. Mm-hmm. I said I wanted a May as Bay skin where it's just her with her face and hearts all over her body. I think that would be no. awesome. I'm I would fancy. totally use that skin though. Bait. Yep. Bait. Bait. <laughs> I'm trying to find how to get the. It's to be like so, Bay, B-E-I. It's, I think it's supposed to be uh, 10 or 15 games played of Heroes of the Storm. That's what I've been hearing, but I could be wrong. I, I think it was. I know there was a 30. I don't know if it was... <laughs> no one's going to play 30 games of Heroes of the Storm. That was actually to get the skin, though. No one's going to play that. Or was it to get something else? Some people are. Some people are going to play that. Um, I thought it was 10. Yeah, I'll, I'm I'll... only going to play it because I'm, Want to I'm get being the skin. forced to play it. Um, no, they had the same thing for uh, Hearthstone. If you got to, like, level 5 or, I think, level 10, level 10 and, they would um, give you a card back yeah, for Hearthstone. Yeah, but Hearthstone getting to level 10 as any class character is like playing the tutorial. Yeah, pretty much. This is playing live games with possibly questionable, maybe toxic people. No, 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 no. But not as to toxic. Blizzard, when it comes as to Blizzard if you games, aren't used to it after her, playing okay, Overwatch. Yes, when it comes to Blizzard games, it's There's not as toxic no except toxic. for Overwatch. Yeah, because even when I was playing uh, Heroes of the Storm when I first picked it up, there were people who would be like, hey, I don't know how to play it. They're like, oh, what do you need to know? Do you want to learn things? And I'm just like, Overwatch, I come from the League community. Like what is this niceness? Like, Overwatch still isn't that bad. So um, it's bad. I have not used really. my mouse. Oh yeah, that 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 would be your first option. They'll go back that back that they'll go back that far and let yeah. me just run down the control. Okay, I'll try that. <laughs> just run it down. So uh, what is the W key? Where is that on my keyboard? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Overwatch no. is not that toxic though. No, no. You get like people will get salty, but it's never really like. Toxic. I've seen I've some bad toxic. things. I haven't seen like I don't know whatever I play. Toxic people in every community. Very yep. like but not... sexist comments. Yep. Very racist comments. Yes. I mean that's but, literally like, every game. The ever. amount compared to when I watch someone play League. Well, there's a complete difference between the communities. Also, one it's is a free. Game. One is paid for. True. Yeah. Seeing, no, wait. Is I, it paid for for? League is free. I love no, seeing for the scripted Pots, voices. Is that paid for? No, it's free. Okay, so they're both free. Mm-hmm. Well, I love seeing Mobos the sensory are just, done. The yeah, reason why MOBAs have more of a toxic community is because it's a yeah. very, like, uh, what's what's the term? Like, it's like a high skill cap. Like, the learning, cur- the learning curve. The learning curve is really high. Yeah. So people, when, you know, they think they get good, they're like, oh, I'm the best at this game. You know, everyone just kneel before me. And Dude, then, you kill bots. Yeah. <laughs> on hard difficulty. <laughs> I died to three bots. Oh, good days. What are you saying here? I was saying I like on Overwatch, if you're being, like, super toxic to, uh, to the other team on, you know, match chat it'll like censor you with voice or oh, like you, preset lines if you say gg I'm, easy yes, i always yeah. do that I'm at the struggling end struggling with it'll be like i'm struggling with insecurity issues thank you for playing with me that's it, what it'll like, be like i do that just mom. because sometimes oh, no, it's a faster way than writing something nice about my team <laughs> 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 or you just you just roll for really dumb stuff and mm-hmm. i but they know what you're saying 
Yeah. But they don't at the same time. Okay. I think especially when you lose the match, you start saying GG easy. I hate those people. They make me so upset. Oh my god, I don't want to play Overwatch with you ever. <laughs> <laughs> Did you that person? Oh, okay. I don't type GG easy. There's no reason no. to. Oh no, you say GG WG. So, okay, what's up next? We got uh, some WoW stuff. Uh, you can catch up leave, in WoW very easily. Leave uh, me out. Yeah, it, it, I'm not going to know everything off the top of my head. There's just there's a new raid coming. Um, I think it's based on an older raid, if I'm not mistaken, and they're just bringing it back. Which one? Uh, Which one? I have to know. Oh, my God. Going off topic, isn't did Owlboy just release recently? Owlboy, yes. That, like that game that was in production for like yes. nine years. I heard, I'm so excited for that. Yeah, that like I heard so about cool. that. I heard about that the other day. I was like, oh, I don't know anything about this game. I but like okay, how that it's seems like cool. new sexy mounts. And I'm like, yes. Uh, it has to be sexy. Oh, the mounts are gorgeous. Some of them are amazing. And what? Wow. Oh, okay. Wow. It's a uh, tomb of uh, Sargeras, Sargeras, Ger- whichever one you want to pronounce that as. It's going to be super fun. Um, I believe it's based off an old one, correct? It is. Okay. Like, that's... That's why we didn't really want to demo it because there is like, go find four other friends at BlizzCon yeah. and join a raid group so you can play for an hour. And it's like, and like so that means uh... that this line here, which has about 300 people in line and about mm, 50 computers right now, all of those people are just going to be playing for an hour. Yeah. And that means that only five people leave every hour. Oh, Jesus. Oh, oh I want to do that. I want to waste my time doing that. Uh, <laughs> so we decided that it was not worth demoing it because it was just. You'll see stuff on it. It's an old raid on top of that. Yeah. It's nothing new. And it's preset characters. And if you really don't know what you're doing, like me, because I just started WoW like a few months ago, I'm not going to be interested in this. Like, I'm a noob. I started playing. I'm a, a noob. Ago, I'm good. Like a few months ago, but no, I'm still a noob. It's like, that's, uh, that's really I know, I know. True. That's how I, yes. I played uh, my. Only JP MMO I ever played was Fantasy Star Online ep- Dude. 2. Dude, one. yes. Yeah. Yes. That was the only one because I, I had loved episode make 1 Make my two. own account and everything. Oh. In Jap- Japanese. Oh, I that Japanese that. captcha oh. was a bitch. Oh, I know. That captcha was the worst. Oh. I hate it. But I played it, and I got to the point. I, like, level leveled out my gunner class, and I, I didn't play with, like, anyone because I didn't. Could, you know, like you want me to. Play I knew some yeah. English people. Who's? But I just lost. Like you just fall behind. And you're like, man, I'm so weak in this game, and you don't even know what that know what you're doing. They have all. it in English now, but it's not in America. It's in China. Yeah. But there's an English <gasps> localization of. I, I don't know. I it's, use the proxy. That's all I use. Yeah, but there's like you don't need the fan patch as much anymore. Um. Nice. I don't know. I'm never gonna touch it. Again. I don't think you're able to touch it if your if your IP address is outside. Yeah. Of the I Canada, heard. I heard so. they they just blocked it like two months ago. <laughs> Like they were like, oh, Sad you're good times. for now, and then they're like, nah, and they're like, just hey, we're gonna put this on PS3, we're gonna put this on Vita, we're gonna put this on mobile, we're gonna put this on PS4. It's they like an anime like, for it. Yeah, it's like, so you're gonna bring this to America? Nah. Maybe the anime. <laughs> Why? They did. They did. They did they? It. It was horrible. It was, it was horrible. so bad, but ridiculous. that game just that game tilts me. And it's not Everything exactly an MMO. You. It's go find four people in the in the lobby and then go play the game. And waifu dress up. Waifu dress up. <laughs> yeah, that's like half of it. Which is what Sora Online has become with. Uh, like the that. DLC for pre-ordering was like, yeah, just it came out yesterday. Oh. It's not an online game. Oh, I know. Like Sorry, the title the says online. There is, but there's like a real. I think no I think there is a sort of online game, but I think it's like really bad. There isn't. No. Nope. They've oh. only released three games. They're all single player games. Trash. Yeah. I don't know how. Um, That's upsetting. I mean, I could talk about yeah. Sal for a little bit because I watched my friend play it last night. It was. Um, we basically got to make a character in Sword Art Online, but it's a single player game based on Kirito. So no matter what happens, uh, Kirito is, Kirito is still the character that is appearing in the cutscenes. And, um, yeah. (laughs) And, and if you're, if it's an in-game cutscene, but it's important, actually, no, if it's an in-game company cutscene and Kirito's supposed to speak there, you're whatever, Voice line you have for your character doesn't matter. It's still Kirito's voice. So you could have like a. Girl. And we're playing as a chick. <laughs> yes. And it's still Kirito, and it's like, are you serious? That's that could be like good uh, when it was production uh, quality. The, it the game's intro 
does this immediately. So like you see your character, but then it's Kirito voice. My uh-huh. friend is like, oh my God, I forgot to change the voice. We deleted the save file, went through the character customization a second time. And then it's like, oh, oh no. no, I did it again. <laughs> and then he deletes the save file, does it a third time. Uh, oh no, I'm. You, you can't to... change it. Oh, that's so. Maybe because they're thinking. Oh, oh and the cutscenes. Like virtual the cutscenes were unskippable. So, uh, so oh, no. he couldn't just well, get to the part of the cutscene that they did it. Do you think they did that because it's technically the virtual world, but you're playing a game of this virtual world? So maybe it's your Kiri so meta character it's so meta but he's still like the no. internal monologue no this is what you want to identify yourself as but it's really kirito no matter what so you're kind of screwed or maybe kirito decided like he wants a female avatar yeah. but when he's talking to people, you are he, kirito. but only when he's talking he switches to to a male's voice like the but character's he'll switch. mouth is moving and it's like yeah oh my god no well, actually the mouth's cat mouth synchronized like the Lip sync sucks, so oh. half the time they're not even moving. Well, it's the, probably a JP the, game. That's um, the game also doesn't really accommodate the fact that uh, the female body's uh, proportions for like where you sheath your sword uh, should go against the back, and it really just like floats behind the back. Oh. Um, oh. Then it also doesn't accommodate when a, a sword is sheathed at the side of the hip. Because the the girl's hand was going through the sword, it looked pretty painful. Oh, um, and the uh, it was just like, did they test this game to see if you could play as a female properly? No, that you you couldn't, and it made the game quite interesting. Um, when you walk up to characters, you can get really really close, like to the point where you're nose to nose with a character. <laughs> so you could have some really interesting intimate moments. With like all these and with and no, when you're walking around the town, oh. and as much as like they focus like on not letting you play as a girl practically and let but let you still play as a girl, every NPC in the game like is essentially a player which you can recruit, and every NPC is a girl. What? Yeah, and there's every Aaron. character, even if they're an NPC, has a relationship stat. With you, and you can't have oh any of them because you're Kirito, and you just don't get any girls because you're like no, dense. you get all the girls. No, 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 no. that's the end of the. Of no, no, that's the end of the game. Is it really? By the end of the game, it's like Persona. You get, you pretty much get him laid. Wow, that's hey, completely different. Man. We don't really know if that's the ending, God. but oh that's God. the goal of this Do game. Do have a character that's his sister? Okay, yes, you can oh, have. Oh, don't date You can have sister. her as her. As, no, it's her. Well, it's cousin. <laughs> it's different, yeah. it's different, it's different, in, different Japan. in Japan. It's you don't really understand. Like, it's different in Japan. Like, oh, but he it. was, be- he and so they, br- anime, they thought they were like, brother care. and sister, and they, yeah. they really were. I don't right, know that. Cool. It's, Japan's a different stop culture. It is. Sword right. art. No, there's one thing I need <laughs> to get across. <laughs> you, I mean, it was essentially it was a love simulator, a relationship <gasps> simulator. Oh. I have to play it, it now. No, like, that's what the whole goal. Like, there was about a good hour or two of playing this game where it was just, like, talking to Asuna for... And oh. there is a dedicated do button, which is R1. If you press R1 up mm-hmm. to Asuna or any character that's following you, no. which is, you know, all girls except for Klein and... uh, uh Klein? the I can't remember. It starts Klein. with an A. You're fine. Go yeah. on. Um, it, like, Asuna? I don't know if you can do no, this Klein. with them, but there, if you press R1, there's a hold hands button. But, but Excitement. your relationship meter needs to be high enough, or stat oh, to be high wow. enough to do oh that. God. All right, what's the next? Because she was getting list? upset that we tried to do that, like right oh, out the yeah. bat. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Anyway, so start our online. Uh, yeah, we kind of great. Dove around. Yeah. Um. PlayStation Four Pro came out today. Woo. What are the specs? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, four teraflops or some some oh, kind of. Oh, it's not. Uh, is that it's bad? It's decent. It's like an okay. The, it's like going to be like it's six like six teraflops for the Scorpio, so it's kind of like it's kind of like a seven eighty. Right? Is yeah. it really? Yeah. Ooh, Dang. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, it's that's the it's PS. It's kind of like it's going to be the greatest system oh, for a year. Console. Yeah, I think yeah. that's close. And to then like it's like seven, the seven, Xbox eight. Scorpio is going to be a great system for like a year and a half, and mm. then they're going to be a come out with. Probably PS5 because I can't imagine them doing a Pro 2. Just buy a PC. Yeah. <laughs> and then upgrade every year or every five months. I, I only upgrade every two years. I upgraded it after three, four years. 
I yeah. bought my gaming computer and like assembled it, and it was like a mid at the time. I bought like 760 and FX 6300 in my like senior year of high school, and then it was like, oh no, it was like the second semester of my junior year, and then at the end of my sophomore year, I'm like, I need to upgrade, so I went to like a 970 and an i7 4790K. Where can I find my switch? That's about, I think I have a 4790K as well. Yeah. It's a good, it's yeah. like the, it's a really good one. Yeah. Uh, that's that third, not third gen. Fourth. Fourth. Yeah. Then right now they're up to sixth. I had to build my computer for uh, the Vive. I had he, to shut up. Vive. But uh, yeah, that was all very, <laughs> it wasn't as, wasn't as expensive as I thought it would you be. You had the peripherals though. Yeah, I had the peripherals. So it was like for a high end PC minus a graphics card, it's like eight, nine hundred. Mm-hmm. And then I had to, I bought a 1070 when my roommate owed me a bunch of money. Mm-hmm. I was gonna get a 480, but then I was like, "Ooh, I can get a 1070 now." I did a, I did a complete like new system. Basically, like I went, I didn't, ex- I took some components out, but I wanted, mm-hmm. I wanted a better uh, CPU out of it. So, well, yeah. you had to get the mobile. Oh, what was it? Well, the the motherboard, my motherboard had some issues with it, so I just, oh, I just the- kind of like. Uh, yeah. decided like screw it. I'm just gonna go with the new chipsets and everything. Um, so went with that, and basically this summer it ended up being I made my, a new computer. Um, I did a tra- case transfer from my girlfriend's custom to a bigger case, mm-hmm. and then I did ended up doing a another build of the same computer with a few less components, like with an i5 instead of i7 and stuff like that for my friend. Uh, so I ended up like practically doing three computer builds this summer. Case in point. Case and, case and components point. and point. <laughs> Buy yeah. a PC. Buy a PC master base. Right. I just have a, uh, you know, the gaming laptop. I still got that. I, I hate the size of mine. Um, oh, mine's a behemoth. I know. I love it. It's the best. I hate that I have to carry it. Yeah, same. No, I love same. it. I carry my child with me lovingly and By the way, yeah. Uh, you should do a, the front backpack, too, and just, like, have it stick out and just... Just be like, it's draw a smiley face on it. Oh, or it's get a final. It's around the, the PS. Yeah, it's around oh. the teraflops for a 780 is around 4.49 or th- or four. So, so it's around a 780. It's probably gonna be close to a 960 in performance. So I'm assuming. It's, so it's gonna be like 4.2 for PS4. So it's gonna bro. be like the high end gaming computer, like so, two three years ago. So Xbox yes. Xbox sounding yeah. when it which isn't too bad. Let's yeah. be real. Xbox doesn't, last you a while. Xbox doesn't sound so bad because six what was you said six. That's pretty good. I that's wanna, pretty. That's I'm pretty going decent. To, yeah, six. Ter- they're aiming for six. I don't know what that means. But are they? But you got, I'm wondering what they're going to. Can they just say they're five point nine? AMD too. So there's not going to be hyper threading <laughs> unless they get the hyper threading. Only stuff. Nintendo's doing. That's just coming out though. This December, there's no way they're going to put the but new Zen boards. Scorpio is coming out later. Yeah. There's always the a Switch. chance. The Switch. It probably. They're using Nvidia. Switch is Nvidia Tegra. That's cool. I was like, what? All in one chip. Uh, All in one chip. Powered by a I don't chip. Know how I feel it's about a mobile that. chip. And, I mean, they. I mean, the it's a five. Okay. It's a five inch screen. Yeah, but or, I no, heard six, seven inch screen. Whatever we said last. I heard time. their uh, their mobile chipset for the ten for the ten series. I hear that's like really good, mm-hmm. but I don't know what the. It's oh, a custom it's chip. Uh, I don't know what the temperature output is though. It's okay. Yeah, I'm just sitting there like, all right, like, cool. She bought like, what's new computer stuff? She bought a free belt. It's okay. That's fine. Yeah, it's, no, it's um, looking yes, you at... Do. Yeah, we do. <laughs> I do. It's a quad-core ARM Cortex A57 uh, cores. Uh, max, G, uh, max gigahertz is 2 gigahertz. On I, the, I heard on it switch. sits around, performance-wise, around the like later 360s. Yeah, like it's kind of... A little bit better than 360, but not hitting a PS4 standard. I mean, it's not bad standard. for a mobile thing. For something that I can just like put in my backpack, yeah, that's I'm gonna get not it bad. Just for Mario, yeah. I'm Maker. getting it. Mario oh, like, Zelda, Zelda. I mean, yeah, the, oh, I'm gonna I'm get so this excited. for the Nintendo exclusives primarily alone. I mean, this is going to be your next 3DS upgrade. This is going to be your Wii U upgrade. So I don't see both what into the issue. one package. Oh, yeah, God, I'm so it's there's, they're not doing a portable and a and a you know, separate releases anymore. They, you saw that where, with the way they were releasing their games. Smash Brothers was on 3DS. Smash Brothers went, was on Wii U. There was a rumor, though, that, and I mean, this is like everyone, everyone's dream, but this is a rumor that it's actually happening, that the, uh, the Amiibos that haven't been released yet are because they're going to be making a Nintendo Switch version of Smash Brothers. 
Ooh. So I'm not excited. They're going to launch around the same time. But if you think about it, the 3DS and Wii U version were split up. Yeah. So all the levels were like separate I from each other. Maps, so I don't really so care. you could just like say, hey, there's 50 or so levels on, you know, Wii U. There's 50 levels on 3DS. Yeah. Merge them together. Like, you got a hundred. Like they made Smash Four to kind of say we're so sorry that Brawl existed. Well, they also need to make a new Smash Brothers because it's I an HD like, system. I don't know where else they can go with it. Because well, it's just a port. I know. I they could probably bring if they bring back still the, the best fast Smash. pace of what? Smash. No. Doubtful. Sorry. No. Oh, I'm triggered. For triggered. That. Hardcore. Dude, you know what I'm waiting for? I'm waiting for. Uh, for Sonic to pull a Mario Maker, no. it, where you could build no. your own 2D levels. No. no. Wouldn't that? No. I want Zelda like... Maker. Thank you. No, that doesn't make sense. Those exactly. Yeah, it does. That's the joke. No, no, I do. Oh, top I down Zelda. Top okay, down yeah, Zelda. Okay, top down Zelda. That's what I'm talking about. Like, like, I, I was... They need to move more into that direction of like user. Yeah. Like they just need to give users control, which they did with Smash Brothers. Mario Maker, which they did with Smash Brothers. No exactly. one ever really No makes one levels. likes it because it sucks because there's no. Dude, Mario Maker's variety. awesome. There's yeah. a difference between no, no, Mario Maker no. and for Mario Smash. Maker's amazing. Smash like, map maker levels? sucks. Oh, well, yeah. That's, that's garbage. There's not enough. Or stage builder. That's what it's called. Because they all cares. look really lame. Everyone's like, oh, my God, I can make like all these stages. Oh, there's a limit, and there's like barely any things that are different. Blocks. They all it's look like, like trash. They don't yep. actually match up yeah. with each other and stick out like a sore th- thumb for every component and don't reflect like Ooh, GTA. actual... GTA hmm? has their uh, double... XP, like, light bike thing going on until the 21st. Oh, okay. the Tron oh, thing. Just throwing that, that, awesome. that little pin pin in there. That looks, what was it, like, red? It's or, like Tron. Yeah, but yeah, no, what was your it bikes. called? Like, not red line, but. Something. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. But double, double, I think, money and RP for that game mode. So, yeah, so yeah PS4 Pro's out. If you've got a 4K TV or are interested in not getting sick from VR, you should probably pick one up. VR is awesome. If not, I'm not. I'm not really. Wait for the switch. <laughs> like get much. get one if you don't own a PS4 because you'll get better frame rate and 1080p. Pick up a PSVR now and save pick, up for the new PlayStation. Pick up a Vita, guys. Just pick up a Vita. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's that one will be actually. Um, there was a developer that was, you know, you know what the PlayStation TV was, right? No. no, it was their Vita for the T or oh. their Vita <gasps> yeah, okay. in a like micro console, and you could mm-hmm. hook it up to your TV and essentially play Vita games, yeah. but barely any because you had to you know patch your game to have controller support then, Ugh. and find a workaround for not having a touchscreen, and it ultimately flopped. Apparently, you cannot make any more games for that because a developer who had a Kickstarter was asked why you know where the PlayStation TV support went, and it's like. Sony just told us we can't do it anymore. We huh. tried. Rejected. Like so, everyone like me who picked one up, um, either for cheap or for full price. Salty they went down to like twenty bucks uh, when they're trying to liquidate them. There's nothing coming out for it, even if there's a Vita game. <sighs> there's no game that Rip. can be approved for it. It's Rip. not an option that anymore. Sucks. That's rip. just. I feel so... like that could. Aww. I feel like you could totally. I don't know. That's that's stupid. I mean, the thing supported less than half of the lineup of Vita games because it had to have controller support. You had to patch that in, and nobody wanted to go back and find a workaround, or you know, the people that they had on that project moved on to different things, so yeah. they don't know what to do with it. Speaking of limited products, what about the NES Classic? I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited to pick one up in the middle of March. It's like, coming out around my birthday. I am doing that as a birthday present. I'd be so excited. Why aren't you in line right now? Because <laughs> I don't know. I'm excited though. I think it'll be. I know one are of my you, buddies. Do you, are you gonna have like ten computers one. up, all with Amazon refreshing until they go live at two o'clock Pacific? A really then... good friend of mine is doing that actually. Because, really? Yeah. Yeah. I it's only one friend. per customer. Yeah. Joe wants it. More okay. than anything else, and he's good. So, does he, he know everything. what a PC can do? Yes. Okay. Joe, just wondering. Joe, Joe is a video game god. It's. I mean, I want it. one, be, but I know that if I buy one, I'm not using this thing. Oh, it's more yeah, so like emulators. It's stuff. more so like a talking piece in my house. That's like this is mini. This is a mini NES that I can hold in the palm of my hand, but 
I mean, could you just do, do that like with a display my it's emulator like, on my computer that I built? Make an emulator. For like, yeah, that's the bringing thing. the bringing back those old TV boxes you'd always get when you were kids. You know, just plug oh, them the in. No. Yeah, you plug it's them HDMI, in. So and when you turn on, you hear up. Well, they do have the like, filters though. That's what's nice because oh, it's that's built-in awesome. games, right? Yeah, it's only like it's sixty dollars yeah. yeah, so, for thirty games. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like built those in. old plug-in Galaga games where you just plug in your TV and you have like a little joystick. Yeah. Do you know what's funny about this product? Mm-hmm. It is more powerful than the 3DS or a Wii. <laughs> that's but amazing. But why? Because it it's it is, is it like four K support or no? Like... It's uh, 720. That's amazing. The Wii, the Wii was 480. Excited. <laughs> and the, but the components well, inside of it to run these emulators are more powerful than the Wii. Dang, I know that because my, when you say 4D, I'm like, oh, that's really, really bad. And then I remember I just got the Dolphin emulator for Mar- Super Mario Bros. for Wii. Well, that can upscale it. Yeah, and I ups- uh, and when I started playing, I'm like, wow, this looks really bad. So I like super sampled yep. it by three times. I'm like, all right, this looks good now. <laughs> it was so weird. Yeah. But then you start super sampling too much, and your computer doesn't want to run it. It's That's like the Vive in a nutshell. <laughs> yep. It's like, can I can I super sample this like one point? Oh god! Three? Oh god! No! no oh I'm god! On some, oh games, god. on some games you can, and then you try to play onward, and it's like, why is my screen move like you're lagging. moving in the, your screen, and it makes no sense at all. Yeah. It suck. So we brought this up earlier, but uh, the fake Genesis. The fake. The fake. Genesis. I don't know much about that. What is that? So the everyone was like flipping out because Facebook like or not on Facebook but people on Facebook saw that Sega's making or just a greenlit a Genesis to be put in production. Oh, I saw that. I saw I but actually did. Nobody realized or not nobody, but a lot of people didn't realize that it's not coming to America. <gasps> oh no. It's coming to Brazil. Brazil. What? Yes. You were talking about this the other day. Yeah. What? It oh. Brazil uh, they pe- partnered with Tech Toy, Sonic fans which is a of. manufacturer that is going to be creating this uh, Sega Genesis console for Brazil. It has a it has your standard Genesis top loader and an SD card port, <laughs> and it comes with like twenty two games pre installed. It's one hundred and thirty seven US dollars. Jesus, if you, if you do the exchange. who are they selling that to in Brazil? Brazil, like, to this day, Sega Genesis is on their market, on their shelves, oh and they sell 150,000 units oh my God. per year. Oh, That's amazing, what? actually. I'm to quite this impressed day. with that. In that market, you can't... So by you know, the time it's we... It's expensive to put these games out there, but you know, it, put a game, putting a game on a shelf in that sort of market, it's in that you know, sort of economy and, you know, all the regulations they have. Yeah, their they're taxes pretty, they're pretty take bad. all of the money. And a PS4 out there, I'd oh, like to like, throw out a number. It's oh, probably, it's crazy. we pay 400 here, they probably pay close to $1,000 there. By the time we're going to be, like, living in our computers, they're going to be like, whoa, check out this PSVR, dude. This is crazy. <laughs> Look at the PlayStation TV. It better do well. It's like, <laughs> it's like Oh, no. <laughs> no, um, it's, it's, it's just a different, different, market and sega is like yeah we can green light this but the market kind of kind of falls toward more towards piracy so yeah they're not that are going to just pre put some games on there give you an sd card because they know <laughs> they know that's why the expense the council so expensive too they oh, that know. makes sense. That makes sense. <laughs> They're not going to buy a game after this is supported. Unless you really, you know, you can or whatever you can out there. 137? 137 after the exchange. Um, that's not too bad, actually. It's all right. Um, I don't know. Tech, I, I wouldn't get it. But well, I mean, yeah. But, <laughs> but if you didn't have anything else or you, you know, <laughs> wanted to pick one up, have at it. But it also, but it has AV out still. <laughs> it's Woo! just like, wow. dang. I mean, so sure. Probably, I mean, yeah. those. I don't know what kind of TVs they have out there, but I don't know if it's like going to be even HD TVs out there. So that makes total sense. Probably, that yeah, probably not. So. I mean, have at it. But it's it's just like everyone on Facebook was like, "Oh my God, the Sega Genesis is coming back! It's going to you know topple the NES Classic. Nintendo better respond with the Super Nintendo Classic." <laughs> um, guys, nah. this isn't no this guys. Isn't guys this is you, you just picked up on an article from the wrong country, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, 
So, so yes. Sega needs our help. <laughs> what was the league stuff that we needed to talk about so badly? Assassins. The season ended. Um, yeah. That too. Uh, season six just ended, and uh, season seven is coming up. They're bringing back duo queue and solo queue, which was not ever supposed to come back. But the big thing for preseason is the assassin rework. Oh my goodness. I, I'm going to get loud and excited. Don't even worry. But the assassin rework has literally. Oh, ha, ha. I got a chance to play some of the assassins earlier today. I was literally just. Oh, I was so excited. Did you say good, uh, twice? Hmm? Use your good, words. Good, good description. I'm very just. <laughs> Use your words, not your emotions. I got a chance to try out Talon today, and they've completely reworked him to make him Assassin's Creed. What is Talon? Talon is an 80 mid laner. And What's an 80 mid laner? Uh, why don't we just skip this? <laughs> people might not. No, you gotta no. keep going. You're the You're lead good. person. You Talk should be able to the lead people. people. Yeah. Um, I'll just, you know, play Angry Birds. No, when it... <laughs> Flippy bottle. Talk about um, yeah, they reworked Talon. Okay, so the big reworks were Talon, LeBlanc, Rengar. Uh, there were mini... Ooh, ooh, who am I missing? I know I'm missing a couple. Well, those are like the three huge ones that people have been complaining about. But oh my goodness, Talon has this new ability where he can uh, like parkour over terrain. And oh my goodness, oh, I got to play that today. And I was just one-shotting people and just getting out with one HP. And everyone's like, what is this damage? Why are you alive? What do I do with my life? And everyone's just like, this is too much damage. I don't know what to do. There's new mastery we work reworks. There's new items. They're actually thinking about making a winter-themed map this season for when Snowdown comes around. Oh, League's going to be fun. They're trying to keep it interesting and exciting for the people who've actually left, but they're also trying to keep it interesting for high ELO players as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see what they do with that. <laughs> I could talk for literally years about this, but no one else wants to. Is there anything else that you guys want to talk about? Okay. Um, <laughs> oh. Pokemon? Metro 2035. Okay. Uh, the game has a, like, it's coming out. The game Metro 2035 is the final game in the series of Metro 2033 and Metro Last Light, all based on the books. We're not sure if that's actually, if that was announced recently, if that was... The book was, the book came out, but it was just today that they said it's going to come out. Like, the, the game. The, the game. game. The okay. game was like, yeah, it's gonna, because, like, rumors were going okay. around, and then finally, uh, Silver, uh... Deep Silver uh, confirmed that it was going to be coming out in 2017, the final Metro game of the year, at least for related to the books. They're the few that that company is like one of the few story driven games where I just I get sunk into. They're just oh. wasn't. Uh, what else was Deep Silver involved with? What were they? Dead um, Island. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, but they're very different uh, mechanics of gameplay. Yeah, I hope so. Because uh, THQ works on on uh, those, I believe. Is it THQ Nordic? Or? THQ worked on 2033. Like, is and it then, actually THQ or is it? It was like, for for the last game. It was 4A games was, was, instead of THQ. Yeah, because THQ went under. Yep, exactly. So, was okay. THQ the game that made that MX? Made, MX no, 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 no. They made yeah. the that little like race like race car game. Oh where yeah, you had the little uh, that was RC cars. Yeah, I mean, RC, RC car racer, RC racer. I mean, yeah, Nick, RC uh, they they had uh, they had the license. THQ had the license with Nickelodeon and. And try to appeal more towards children. Oh, okay. By, yeah, by it, it was probably had the RC so, racer yeah, game. It, it yeah. sounds like they, they had have a, done it. Uh, there's yeah. a lot of it companies like a that try to do RC racing games. Yeah. I think, uh, like, I mean, Blizzard even had Rock and Roll Racing um, <laughs> for uh, Super Super Nintendo as one of the first games, and uh, their their catch was that they put real kind of music sampled into the Super Nintendo, not hmm. actual music though. So it kind of was just a bit crushed, really. Um, uh, but that was, I mean, back then, it was like, we have real good music in crazy. a racing game. It's cool. Well, um, then they went under, so then, 4A games took over for at least Metro. And then now they're like, hey, we're doing another one for the final one. Because the book came out in June of last year. So. That's a really quick pickup yeah. for like, hey, two years. One game. Well, they haven't. Have Deep Silver oh. made any like big they, games? They haven't they? made anything recently. They've they've, Since... they've been doing the Metro remakes, but I mean that's like Redux, that's yeah. like practically getting their engine to work with the next generation, and then they're just going yeah. to coat the paint. They did. Uh, what was it? Who did Dying Light? Dying Light. Did they do Dying Light? No, that was. 
that was ex workers of them. That so looked, weird. That it, it looked like that island. <laughs> no, because it was yeah, made by the was. same people. It was by the same team. Oh, okay, that's why. Yep. So it was like, just it was like what that island should have been in the beginning. Yeah. Anything. Pokemon Go? Pokemon Go. Mango. Daily bonuses. Uh, they just add that little region rework, right? That's well, what they were looking the, into? There was some data mining that went on that, yeah, there's some The Kanto daily bo- region, the Pokemon. No, are Johto. The, oh, Johto, Johto. They're in the code now. Yep. So it will be coming Johto. out. They, they wanted it to come out sometime around Christmas. That was the rumor, but I'm yeah, not sure. Yeah, but they've been pushing it back since it's been released the first time. It hasn't been Christmas, though. Yeah, I know. Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, everyone's thinking it's like towards the towards New Year's or so, but they gotta do we, something we don't quick. know with this. They're going to start losing, like they've already lost so many players. Uh, it was a high. I'm still playing. I mean, yeah, with Pokemon yeah. Go Plus, you just kind of do it. You can't even talk. You play this religiously. Oh, well, yeah, because yeah, I have the plus. If I didn't have the plus, I'd be doing what I am right now. What, okay, what is your it. level right now? I'm, I'm a 25. I'm 26. I'm a 14 and I stopped playing. 23. <laughs> And then my girlfriend's like a thirty, so we're all like, "What the fuck? Why?" Yeah. She's on a what, she lives on a stop because her dorm is a stop. So she used the Pokemon Go Plus, and she's like, "Click, click, <laughs> click, click, click." Oh, I just caught a billion Weedle. Let me lucky egg again. Okay, yeah. I saw the best meme on uh, online about the election, and it wasn't even political. It was like red and blue, you know, all the states, and then it was, the caption was Team Instinct. Team Instinct. Ha, Team Instinct still can't catch any gems. <laughs> I was like, yep, yeah, of course. What team are you on? Instincts. Instincts. Exactly. Instincts. the best team. Yeah, yeah. it does. Wow. Underdogs. We're the Even only ones on this here. campus that are on Team Instincts, I swear. A lot of people who are on Team Instincts suck. Like, they're more loyal to the game, from eggs, what I can because see. Because eggs are the only way to keep you loyal. Yeah, eggs. pretty much. And invest into the game, give them game money, then get more incubators. I almost have enough from Google Play Rewards to put in $5. I know, right? That's what I've been using. Got like 71 cents. So they were asking me about the Google Pixel the other day. I really want to oh. get that. I do, but, but like, it's not for US cellular, so I'm screwed. You could, I have to there's actually, an unlocked version. I can, yeah, I can still buy it though. But if I, if I want to do a contract and just buy it for like a hundred bucks, I'm or you could just buy the phone. I don't want to. That's a lot of money. And then you won't end up having to buy the it's phone like have anyway. A, it's like having a PC, dude. You it's, just yeah, it. just get that new graphics card. No, so much. How much is it? I don't even know. It's, it's probably six. Uh, six yeah, fifty. I'm just gonna go do another contract for like hundred bucks. I'll blow up my. Uh, I'll get another God, phone phones. that blows up. I know. I hate, I hate the selling of phones because it's like that contract part makes it so much easier. But it's like in the end, you wish you would have just paid it off anyway. Nah, I'm, I'm going. I'm going with my four, right now at least. Like when you want to upgrade, you wish. Oh, like, yeah. You could upgrade faster because. Yeah. yeah. You know, I think I'm, I'm, fine. I'm approaching the end of my contract. I'm like, yes, I can throw it in the trash or you know recycle mm, it. You eat recycle. Yeah. Or you can sell Figure it. Figure with speech. Sell it for twenty bucks because that's what it's worth now. Don't you feel great that you paid six hundred dollars over twenty four months? No, because I didn't. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, I think that's it. So uh, we're coming close to the end of the podcast, and we wanted to just highlight an event that we're going to be participating in, much like a few other people um, around the internet. But we're doing our own um, extra life. We're going to be doing a Pokemon Catchathon that will be a twenty four hour stream starting Saturday, November twelfth. At 6 p.m. is when we're going to be starting the stream. 5 o'clock, we're just going to be getting together, getting that ready. So setups are on 5. Um, if you're on campus, uh, we will be meeting in McGraw 125. If you're not on campus, you don't know what that means. So don't worry about it. What's the Twitch? The Twitch? What's the, the it's Twitch? on Twitch, right? Here it comes. It's Get ready for this. It's twitch.tv forward slash Double Jump Gaming News. Wow. Oh, I know. I know. You got the name. I know. Um, so, if you don't remember that, it's the same title as our YouTube channel. So go ahead and uh, you know subscribe if you haven't. I'll be there <laughs> on the Twitch. That is she was promoting. <laughs> shameless. shameless plug. Shameless. Shameless it's plug. Always, it's always shameless. shameless. They're always shameless. It has to be. Everyone else is promoting oh, their you, events. You have to do it. I'm just you saying. You gotta do it. Should have done it in the beginning. It's for charity, yeah, guys. Done it in the beginning. The charity help the. Whatever extra life helps, just help. <laughs> children. It helps children. Help the children. This is great. Oh. Oh, help the children. <laughs> I'm glad we edit this podcast. <laughs> and that part won't actually be edited. Oh, come on. No, it won't actually okay, be good. edited somehow. And it's just like, oh, well, well, that got in there. Anyway, 
So this has been Double Cast, because we can remember the name of it suddenly. Oh, it's Double Cast. It's Double Cast. Not at the beginning, finally. Because it was just two of you at first. It was two, then we doubled. Oh, my God. Oh, ah, stop. No. All right, we need to end this now. Oh, my God. All right, finish this off. Actually, there was three to begin with, then there was two, then there was four. Oh, my God. So, yes. We will see you at Extra Life, hopefully on our Twitch. Again, twitch.tv forward slash Double Jump Gaming News. Subscribe, and you will get more of these glorious podcasts. We're out.